Welcome Trailblazers to today's tutorial where I will be showing you an alternative to the traditional data loader that all of you have come to know at some point or another. Today's tutorial will cover Salesforce Inspector, specifically how to export and import data with the browser extension. In order to install this browser extension, you will need either Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. It is highly recommended for all Salesforce admins to have this browser extension installed. It will make your jobs a lot easier. So for today's exercise, we will be exporting a list of opportunities, old opportunities that we want to close out. And we will be importing that data back into Salesforce as an update. So to begin, Salesforce Inspector does live on the right hand side as a transparent tab. All you do is click it and it launches this small window you see on the right hand side, Salesforce Inspector. So let's go into the data export. Let's export this data. Now to export data, you will need to have some previous knowledge of SQL. It's uh, the query language that, that Salesforce uses. So we will be selecting the ID name and stage name from the opportunity object whose close date is May 4th. So we want to close out these opportunities that are, that are a few months old. It does not make sense to keep them open in the database. So once we type this in, let's hit export. And here we have a preview of the data exported in real time on the fly. So we can export this data into Excel to manipulate it. Let's hit copy Excel format. And now let's open Excel. Let's create a blank workbook and let's paste the data in here. Now what I want to do is I want to update all of these records to close lost. Let's go ahead and drag this all the way down. And now I want to import this data back into Salesforce. And the way it is, the way it is done is very simple. All I have to do is copy this exact same data in Excel, go back into Chrome, open Salesforce Inspector and go into data import. So now I have to specify two things. I have to specify the action and the object. My action is going to be update. My object is going to be opportunity. You can type in opportunity. And now we can paste the data we've copied from Excel. We paste it into this tiny box. And here we go. We have 11 queued for update. So now what we do is we verify the mapping. So we verify that the, that the column, for example, the first column matches with the first field mapping, the second column, which is ID matches with the second field mapping and so on. So once we see everything is mapped correctly, we can hit import, verify, hit import again. And all of these records have been successfully updated. So now to verify, let's go ahead and go into data export one more time and run the same query. And we're going to verify the status, or the stage name of all of these opportunities that have been updated. Let's hit export one more time. And there you go. All of these 11 opportunities have been updated to close lost and they have been updated on the fly. It's a lot simpler than using data loader. Thank you guys for watching and let's keep blazing the trails ahead.